Over here in the folder pane, anytime you see a folder that has a number next to it, it's an indicator of how many items within that folder that haven't been read yet. And that's good to know because I found myself sometimes, like in the inbox, I'd accidentally delete a message and I didn't realize it, and it would go over into the deleted items folder. When I see a number next to it, I'm like, oh, I got five there. Do I have five messages or five items that I haven't read yet? In any case, before we do that, we're looking at the inbox. And when you select a folder and go over into the main view to find out which, well, in this case, which message hasn't been read, it's the one that's in bold. So that's the formatting that applies to an unread message. So you got the from, subject, received, and the date and time. It's all in bold, the first line of the message. So to go ahead and mark it as being read, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either double click, open it up, and actually read the message. It doesn't really know that you read it. Just the fact that you open it up and you close back out of it marks it as being read. It's no longer bold. And then over in the inbox, it removes the number because you actually read that one message that was marked as unread. Now, if you're like, oh, rats, I didn't really read it. I just glanced over it. And later on, I want to be able to look at my inbox and go, oh, yeah, I didn't really read that message. You can actually right-click on it and go back and mark it as being unread. And it's back to being in bold. And then the inbox has one message that you haven't read yet. Well, you actually did when you opened it up. But you can go ahead and mark it back as being unread. So that way you get a flag to say, OK, now when I have time, I'll reread this again in full detail. You can do it that way. Or you can right-click on it instead of opening it and say that you read it by selecting Mark as Read. And it removes the bold. The inbox doesn't have a 1 next to it. And in fact, let's go to the Deleted Items folder. And here, you can go ahead and right-click on them and mark it as being read. And you can see it goes from five items down to four. And then up at the top, within each main view, you get the All and Unread. So this way it worked out really nice, because I have a total of four sequentially. But if I have an unread message here, then I have to scroll down to find the next unread message. Instead, I can go ahead and filter for all unread messages by selecting Unread. Hey, there you go. Great. Let's go ahead and right click and mark it as being read. It disappears from the filter because it's now been read. And then I go from four down to three. Let me go back to the inbox. And then when I do that and I go back to the deleted items, it resets it so it's no longer searching for only unread messages, but it goes back to viewing all the messages in the deleted items folder. Let's go back to the inbox and you can see it has it here, all, and those that are unread. And then one final note, in a later training video, I'm going to show you how you can actually recall messages. So like when you send out a message and you're like, oopsie doodle, didn't mean to send that out, that's embarrassing, that you can actually pull it back, that is, if the other person hasn't read it. And this only works if you're connected to a Microsoft Exchange server. In other words, this feature is only available if you're connected to an exchange. And you can look down below on the status bar, and if it says connected, you're good to go. Now the point being here is that, this is a little trick, that when you get a message and you double click and you open it up and somebody tries to recall it, they can't because it's been read. But if you open it up and then you right click and you mark it as being unread, they can recall that message. That's kind of tricky because actually you read the message, but when they recall it, they won't know that you actually read the message and then marked it as being unread. So who knows if anybody's going to recall a message. You may not want to read it and then right click on it to mark it as unread. That's a lot of speculation, but nonetheless, I'll cover that more in a later training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.